Hi, this is Infra Master and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to show you on how to install and set up a 3-node Hadoop cluster. But before we begin, what is a Hadoop? Hadoop is an open source Apache project that allows creation of parallel processing application on large datasets distributed across network nodes. It is composed of HDFS that handles scalability and redundancy of data across nodes and uses YARN for job scheduling that executes data processing tasks on all nodes. To understand better, let's begin. So I have here uh, five machines, five servers for our tutorial. I have here a HTTP master, name two, node one to node three. A total of five servers so this will be our master node my name node and our three data nodes so you can download the installer from hadoop.apache.org and for this tutorial we will be using 3.14 version okay so the first thing you need to do is create a hadoop user so I have here, I'm using Hadoop. And then create your environment. So on my environment, I have specified my Java home. And also the Hadoop uh, binaries and system binaries and the Hadoop home and the Hadoop user. So after that, you can uh, extract the downloaded installer under slash opt. So I have here installer of Hadoop and Java. So Hadoop 3.14 and JDK 8. All right, so let's extract X, VF, HDP, and then the Java. And then now let's extract the Hadoop. So I have extracted those two um, installer that we have, uh, the Hadoop. HDP installer and the uh, Java JDK 8. And usually, for my best practices, usually I create a soft link no? um, by doing this. Uh, HD Hadoop and Hadoop LMSS and uh, JDK Java. So at least in the future, in case you download a new version, all you have to do is recreate the soft link and point it to the new Java version or ha new Hadoop version. So after uh, extracting the installer, you can um, uh, you can configure the Hadoop uh, configuration by going to Hadoop, of course, and then uh, etc Hadoop. And then, oops, sorry, Hadoop. And then, etc, Hadoop. And then, edit first the core site XML. So from here, you have to specify your um, your HDP master hostname, HDP dash master. Uh, and then the default port is 9000 and then vi hdfs site.xml so from here you can specify first the second name secondary image node which is the name 2 so um just key in and uh, the host the host name of your name too okay uh, just key in first hdp dash name to that your domain okay 
Okay, so same on 5091, same hosting. Okay, so after you key in that, um, this will be um, the, the directory for the name node and the directory for the data node. And, and then from here, uh, you can specify the number of replications. Since we have three data node, I specify three, but it's up to you. You can specify one or two uh, copies of your data. Okay, and then just save and close. Okay, after uh, editing the course site and HDFS site, it's time for the yarn site. Yarn site is for the scheduler. So from here, um, you can specify the, the resource manager which is the, of course, the HDP slash master. Um, okay. And then the, uh, the Yarn uh, resource manager, same. Okay, and then from here, you can specify the number of memory that you want to allocate. This is in MB, uh, so the meaning of this is 16 GB. So after you key in the host name, just save and close. And then now, uh, configure the workers. So for the workers, just key in the uh, all the data nodes starting from node 1 to node 3 okay so after specifying the uh, configuring the Hadoop make sure you can SSH directly without a password prompt all the data nodes in the uh, name node let's say for example HDP dash node 1 So by right, it should not prompt you for any password, okay? So after making sure of this, um, you can uh, you can now um, copy the, in the entire uh, slash opt that, ex that you extract. Uh, opt asterisk to HTTP dash node one slash opt right so from here you will see it's empty it's empty it's empty okay so our single opt Oh, node one, sorry. Okay, so it will start to copy from here. Everything that we extract and configure. Then uh, do the same thing from node two to node three and uh, name node. By the way, uh, it's a really good thing to to use to learn and use this Hadoop system compared to traditional database because um, it's really faster, you know, especially for big data. Uh, let's say, for example, for those uh, Facebook, Google, everything, you know, those are really using a huge amount of data. And then uh, let's now copy to Node 3. As you see, every time I copy, it's no longer prompting for a password. 
so you really have to do that uh, so that when they communicate with each other uh, there should be uh, no password prompt and last but not the least the name too Okay, it's almost done. Okay, so after specifying the, the, the thing, I think we're finally, um, uh, to say, ready for this. Then after we are ready, uh, what you're going to do is uh, format. So if you format this one, uh, uh, well the the command is htfs name node dash format. Just click yes. Okay, done. Okay, so after you press done, then it's now time to start with with Hadoop so before you start just make sure you have uh, done everything that I mentioned a while ago so just click start so from here you will see it's now starting the mass the name node on the master and also the data nodes the secondary is the HTTP name too Okay, so yeah, you can run JPS to see all the the process process if it's running JPS. Node manager, they are all data node, and this is the name node. Okay, so to verify. You can now uh, key in here. Uh, you can key in the host name of your master. HTTP dash master zero eight eight And then uh, the next one, then there down here, uh, you can also key in the HTTP dash master port nine eight seven zero. Okay, so there you have it. We have now set up the Hadoop uh, three node cluster. And then, uh, so you can verify every, um, by logging in uh, and using the Hadoop that you created by dumping data. So that's all for today and I hope you like this video. If you have any topic suggestion that you would like to discuss, please comment down below. Please like, share and subscribe. And if you want to improve, just learn the basic. Thank you.